All right, so last video here for 1.5. Again, trying to break up these longer videos into shorter snippets for you guys so you can kind of take breaks. So we have theorem 2, 4. It says all right angles are congruent. This should make sense to you, right? Let's take a look at this picture. Angle 1 and angle 2 are right angles. What does that mean? Well, they're marked as right angles. That means that the measure of angle 1 is 90 degrees, and the measure of angle 2 is also 90 degrees. Well, by definition, if two angles have the same measure, then they are congruent. And that's it. This is going to help us in uh, section, I think it's 4-6. We talk about uh, proving uh, right triangles congruent, those kind of things. Um, so be aware. All right. Again, what we learned today is not going away. Again, definitions, vocab. The more you can remember, the more you can put to memory, to heart, the better you'll do in this class. You know, it's a lot, but do your best. Next, uh, this is the last thing we'll talk about today. So it says if two angles are congruent and supplementary, then each angle is a right angle. Well, let's take a look at this picture. So we have two angles, angle one and angle two. They are marked congruent. We also have angle one and angle two, and we're told that they're supplements of each other. Well, that means that angle one and angle two must both equal 90 degrees. Let's do a little algebra problem here. All right. We don't know the measure of angle one and angle two right now. So let's call the measure of angle one X and let's call the measure of angle two X. They are congruent. Well, if they are supplements, then they must add to 180. Well, let's add X and X and we'll get 180. So this is our equation, right? Well, let's combine our like terms. This is 1x and 1x. 1x and 1x makes 2x. And let's divide by 2. And what do we get? x is 90. That means the measure of angle 1 and the measure of angle 2 are 90 degrees. And if they're each 90 degrees, then that means they are each right angles. Boom. So, you know, we could formally prove this using geometry, but some of these proofs are algebraic in nature. And again, just trying to tie your Algebra 1 skills into this class as much as I can. Uh, again, because you passed Algebra 1, should be familiar to you. Great. Again, uh, this theorem, not so much to use, but I thought it was a good one to show you guys. All right, last but not least, I love this slide. This slide I call the assume uh assume notice how i spelled it don't show your parents right this is the assume slide there are things in pictures that you can assume and things that you cannot assume so you have to be very careful in geometry what you can assume and what you cannot consume uh, assume so the first group are things you can conclude just based off the picture. Number one, angles are adjacent. Big whoop, I don't care. Number two, angles are adjacent and supplementary. That means that you can assume linear pairs based off of a picture. That's very important. And number three, angles are vertical angles. Again, if two lines intersect, you can assume that the V up, V down, the V left, V right, they're vertical angle pairs. Very important. Okay, and now down here, here are the things you cannot conclude. Angles or segments are congruent. You cannot assume congruence unless it's marked. Remember, segments have to have dashes. Angles must have arcs. Number two, you cannot assume that an angle is a right angle. For it to be right angle, you better have that box. It better say that box. And then number three, angles are complementary. Again, I don't really care. It's all about the right angle. All right. So again, be very, very, very careful when you see pictures of what you can think and what you cannot think. Again, the biggest thing is, if you see this picture, is that a right angle? Is that a right angle? You don't know right now until it is marked with that right angle box. So be aware of that. Can't assume everything, or you know what you do. Look up in this box. All right, very good. Thanks for watching these videos. Uh, your homework is a little bit lengthier because there's a lot of cool problems involving angles, like I said.